I wanted to talk about this kind of dovetails into the, you know, the cover up getting worse. Um, I don't know if you've seen these text messages. They came out yesterday. They're damning. Extremely damning. This, this is a 10 out of 10 on the fucking what the hell happened scale. Yeah. If people haven't seen this, look at it. I'm going to read them to you and just. This is over an hour and a half before the shooting. So yep. people know, right? I think it's it happened a, a quarter after six. 100 or minutes or something like that. Yeah. Someone followed our lead and snuck in and parked by our cars, just so you know. Now, I don't know if that's Lee Tardy Oswald car or if they're just saying, hey, there's people back here. We don't know. He it's, then it's, writes. It's quite obvious it's Lee Tardy Oswald. Yeah. Okay. So we, I picked that up, but I always try to be a little careful. It then said, I'm just letting you know because you see me go out with my rifle and put it in my car. So he knows you guys are up there. Like he's there. This is one sniper telling another sniper, hey, you know that guy? He's watching us. And just so you know, he can see when we leave. Like, yeah, and he's, he's watching everything that we're doing. That's okay. You know. Make sure, but that roof roof slope is pretty steep. So, well, we know that probably shouldn't get up there. Yeah, we know that Lee had anti gravity boots. I just want to add to this, um, that okay. Oh, oh, I'm back. Always happens once a stream. Once a stream, yeah. Just take these texts, add them. Let's let's say this is a recipe we're making sticks, and each one of these is a vegetable in my vegetable salad. Okay, we you're eating text. a vegetable salad. My God! Well, that's I've succeeded perhaps, in life. This perhaps would make the most shocking part of it. But you have these text messages where they're they're obviously clearly watching him. They're saying, "Bro, he's watching us." They're like afraid of him. They're there's like, a dude. There's a dude with a rifle on the roof. Just, just so you know, I'm I'm headed out though. I've got to go to a Chick Fil A. Yeah. <laughs> then in another text, the McDonald's. In another text, to take a picture of the kid, <laughs> it leaning around the building. We are in AGR, I believe it is. I did see him with a rangefinder looking towards the stage. If you want to notify Secret Service snipers to look out, I lost sight of him. Also, bike with backpack sitting next to it, rear of building that was not seen earlier. Have a call into command uniform to check it out. That's at 540. We know that shots rang can, out about 40 minutes later, and at no point did anyone check it out. Can any goddamn person out there please explain to me why they didn't act sooner? I would love if... if I, I, doubt, I doubt that anyone can. Local law enforcement at least looked into it. The fucking local yokels, the goddamn Metro and the Sheriff's Department and stuff like that, they were the ones that were mainly responding, and they're trying to, like, they're running around trying to uh, get people coordinated. But then we find that there were no radio broadcasts with the uh, Secret Service. And also, if I could ask just one question, any, like, Republican governor who, who can, who's yes. on these, like, please answer, ask everyone in charge this one question, okay? At no, at no point did any uniformed officer go and say, "Hey, man, I know you're here probably to support Trump. I know it's weird, but we got some like support, or some some reports of you looking suspicious. I know it's probably nothing, but like, can we check out your bike and your car, and then we'll get you back well, once in?" He, once quick. he whipped out, once he whipped out the rifle, it was pretty clear why it was there. Well, I mean, but no, the thing if, is, then then even then you had a few minutes before he actually began firing we're gonna look and at that no, yes and the thing is they never radioed into secret service like you would think secret service with the funding that they've got they should be coordinated with local law enforcement uh, the dhs members that were there i suppose and so forth and so if there is a threat they can say okay trump can't go up on stage or trump needs to come off the stage because he's clearly going to be shot but that never happened imagine if they had just walked up to this guy an hour beforehand and went back to his car to check out his car and found and found the bombs in there yeah i mean he had uh, like the, all they would have to do is the bare minimum 
And also, he took all of his dad's weapons, so it would have been a car full of guns and bombs. Yeah, like I don't think yeah. I don't think it should be illegal to be near the president of the United States with a firearm or something as a sure. libertarian Second Amendment uh, enthusiast. But uh, when you've got guns and bombs, and then you proceed to climb upon a roof and aim your gun at the former president of the United States, yeah, that might be a security risk. Here is a new piece of uh, information too. Oh, there's more? Uh, new bystander footage of Trump assassination attempt at Butler reveals police surrounding the building, clearing the perimeter where the sniper crooks then opened fire an hour before shots rang out. Then there is, where is this other clip? How much oh. more crazy can this possibly get? How about this, Sticks? You asked and I will deliver. New eyewitness video shows police circling the building for over two minutes with their weapons drawn looking for Thomas Crooks. They let Trump remain on stage during this. Unforgivable. Weapons drawn surrounding the building. Two full minutes and Trump stand on, stayed on stage for him to get a clear shot at. Yeah, you but tell that, me. That's, that's not the Butler County PD's fault because apparently they were never queued in to have actual communication with the Secret Service. So there was no way for I, I guess, I mean, are they going to send a runner over there? <laughs> yeah, I mean, they, Some they dude never... jogs over there. Get off stage, Mr. Trump. Uh, yeah, no point did they have a meeting with Secret Service that morning. We know that's true. We know that, you know, by the way, okay, let's say that that's true. I know that this is illegal, okay? I know that there are yeah, certain yeah, levels. Shooting, of... shooting people is generally illegal. No, 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 no. But why don't they just fire into the air or ground? Like, just unload your clip. Pop, 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 into the ground. Somebody's going to see it. The secrets are, like, you have innumerable uh... ways that you could have got the you know you start yeah but then but then, but then if, if if you but, but, but listen it, it, this is actually one talking point that i totally disagree with people that are generally pro trump on let's say i'm a police officer and i start unloading my clip into the ground who's the target you are i yeah. get it i get it boom the sniper yeah. gets you maybe you may have saved the president but you also fucking killed yourself so i can't how is that any that. different than secret service yeah. diving in front of him to take the bullet yeah well that's a, that's not the the job of the local pd fair that's fair they like, did want... they did their job and they did it reasonably well if you start unloading your mag like if i take my gun out right now and start emptying it into the floor or something i'm the one that gets shot I think that is an extremely and valid they've got point. families. They, they they've got wives and children and things like that. So I I don't blame them for that one. Now I I understand. I think that is a valid, you know, pushback. Um, I still think they should have done it. Like I still think that there are maybe other so, ways. But I mean, you're literally killing. You're literally sacrificing yourself. Maybe maybe. It would be better if they mag dumped into the the shooter. But uh, well, yeah, you know, yeah, that would have been ideal. Do it. It would have been better if the shooter couldn't get on the roof in the first place. That's the Secret Service's fault. The man, you know, the man, like, I think that the, if you're the cops behind the building, you're in a pretty safe position to do that. But, like, yeah. I don't want to split hairs on that. What I do want to split hairs on was the other bombshell that we found out. There were three officers in that building with a clear sight to exactly where Lee Tardy walked to, right? <laughs> one of them left early for the day. The second one went out presumably to take a piss, I don't know, and forgot his key card, okay? His what? His key card to get back into the building. Oh. So of all the people in the world that could have got him back in the building, the last remaining guy left his post to go let him back in the building at the exact moment, Sticks, that Lee Tardy needed to climb the building. At the oh, exact another, another moment. Oh, another coincidence. I can't even, I mean... If you were in Vegas, I would love to hear. I would like still so odds maker. I would want to know what the actual he, he odds should, of that are. He should definitely have become a gambler. I mean, at the ex like that is the one thing. Like to unless I get absolute evidence that this was, um, a lie hop, or at least a my hop, that is the one piece of data I will take to my grave. I will like give me a break. This was absolutely that they let him in. There is no, there is no, I mean, think of it, Occam's razor style, which is more likely. They knew that there was a threat, which we know that they knew. We know there they was did, a threat. yeah. 
and they effectively let him in or literally the planets aligned uh, in a once in a million year event in order to make this total coincidence. They allowed the shooter to take a shot, hoping that he would die, and he turned his head at just the right moment. And the FBI finally had to come out and admit that, uh, yeah, he, he actually did get shot. Yeah, yeah, that 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 to me. And they're trying is... to make little of it. It's like when, when like Reagan or JFK or any of these others that when they were shot, it's wall to wall front news coverage for weeks and weeks on end. Trump gets shot, almost dies. He literally gets shot in the head. They cover it for like 24 hours. Well, right, don't worry. He doesn't have any major injuries. Now, on to Kamala.